Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. Um, what we're going to discuss today is acrylic pouring on a budget. A lot of us don't have a whole lot of money to be spending on the more expensive things that are out there. And when we watch these YouTube videos, um, some of these people that are on there are doing these great pieces. But they're using maybe a pouring medium that uh, is a little pricey and we want to do it a little bit cheaper to start off with. Especially when you're learning these processes, you don't want to be spending you know, $100 on a gallon of Liquitex pouring medium when you can use something that is going to be a lot cheaper for you to start off with because you might not get the results that is in your head when you first start out because you don't know, you know all the processors or whatever. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over a few things that can keep your pouring budget down low. Okay, so for pouring mediums, um, there's two pouring mediums that are fairly cheap and, and they're actually quite good. Um, Elmer's School Glue or Elmer's Glue All. Uh, the, I prefer the Glue All, but I, I, I'm out of it, so I'm showing this right now in this video. Um, but I buy them by the gallon and this whole gallon right here is about eight bucks can't beat that for a pouring medium. Now for myself, um, when I mix my pouring mediums, uh, if I pre-mix them, I will mix them with the, the uh, Floetrol and the Elmer's School Glue. It's going to be a 50-50 ratio. There will be no water added at this point. Um, you do not want to add the water because then when you add water like that, it tends to uh, lessen the shelf life, so to speak, on your pouring medium. So if you do 50-50 on these two right here, and this this bottle of Floetrol is about $7. Um, you can buy the gallon sizes. Um, my Home Depot does not carry them. They only carry these smaller ones, so that's what I've been using. Uh, but I will, like I said, 50-50 mix on these and then leave them if you're going to uh, store them. When you're ready, then you can add a little bit more water to it. And I don't want to use tap water. That's my personal preference. I don't know if anybody else has the issues with it. I know there's a lot of stuff that's in tap water, and I don't want that in my painting. So I tend to use filtered water or bottled water, things like that. So those are our cheap options for pouring mediums. And then you can, when you get an empty bottle or whatever like that, you can always go through and put your pouring medium back in one of these bottles. You know, those, that works pretty good for me. I mean, I, I've got uh, some of these Artist Loft bottles that I put tape on, and that lets me know that this is not just paint, that this is my pre-mixed pouring medium. Okay, so that's that. This is 16 ounce cups. They're clear cups that I uh, picked up from Sam's Club. Um, they are 132 uh, clear cups for right about four dollars and some change for that whole thing and these are easily cleaned so you get a thing like that and just rinse them out um, and you can keep reusing these so that's what's nice about them and you know if, if you forget a cup sitting around and it dries up and you don't want to feel like scraping it or whatever like that throw the cup away it's only four dollars for the whole bag it's not a big deal I went to the dollar store and picked up a ten dollar hair dryer now these are great for your uh, to blow that paint when on your Dutch pours and things like that. Um, you just gotta make sure that you don't keep it too close because what I found is it does tend to get little water, uh, paint droplets that will splatter and my wife found some on the wall and she was not happy. <laughs> okay, um, this right here, you can see it's got a real sharp point to it on this uh, uh, vessel here and <clears throat> I really like this, this funnel picture right here because it comes to a point and I can mix my paints, I can pour my paints in here for my uh, dirty pours or my ring pours and things, especially your ring pours. And it works good because it funnels everything right to that point as you're pouring and you just sit there and just pour right out. You don't have to worry about too much coming out at once. So that's great. Um, my, again, my professional stir sticks that uh, I absolutely love these. These work so good for me when I'm mixing in my paint in my cups because I can really get a scraping along the sides without having to turn, let's say, a popsicle stick because when you come around this way, you've constantly got to turn your wrist with a popsicle stick. These, I get Chinese food, I eat it with a fork, I keep these. I can just sit there and mix and mix and mix. It works real good. All right, so we're still on a budget. A lot of this stuff is very cheap. Um, 
This is another method that we use for painting using the bottom of water bottles or Coke bottles. That's just the bottom portion of that. Once you're done with your water, you cut the portion off, set that right into your base coat of paint, and pour directly in the center. You can even use your, your uh, pouring pitcher, pour it right in the center, and what that does is it makes the paint fall into each one of these grooves and it blossoms out like a flower. Another technique. This is, you already have water bottles, you already have Coke bottles. This is cheap, this is easy. Okay, these squeezy bottles, pick these up at the dollar store for a dollar a piece. These are great because once you have your paint mixed, you put them in here and you can really control where your paint is going. A dollar for these. Rinse them, reuse them. I picked these up by the barbecue grill because they have the uh, different ounces and milliliters on here. That's also good. These are a little more expensive. I think they're like $1.60 or something like that. One of these. You can get these at any hardware store. It's just a uh, putty knife, basically a large one. And I will use these to smooth my base coat out on my canvas. Okay, really cheap for those. My paints. I go to Hobby Lobby, and uh, these are Master's Touch. I love these uh, containers right here. They're normally $12.99, but I always watch because they always the Master Touch especially go on sale, and it's 50% uh, off. So I get these for six bucks on these. These are your Artist Loft. Um, I got these at Michaels. These bigger containers like this. This paint is a little bit thicker than these Master Touch bottles, so you don't need as much. Uh, but there again, they're they're pretty cheap for these big bottles. Um, <clears throat> some I do have professional um, paint brushes, but I do have a lot of cheap ones too that I picked up at say Walmart or something like that. Four bucks for a whole pack of them. I mean, you can't beat that if you got you know little minor details here and there that you want to fix. Um, here are some cheap canvases. Um, <clears throat> this is upside down here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, uh, super value canvases, and these are these are all right for your acrylic pores, um, as long as you're using a base coat. Uh, these are 16 by 20. Um, they're 12.99 for a five pack. Um, here's another brand, Artist Loft, a five pack. This one was actually 10.99. A little bit cheaper, but they're the same size, same width, everything. Cheap ways to go. Um, I got a, like a creme brulee torch. Um, this one is from uh, Sandico. It's a torch 400. Um, this one was a little bit more than uh, my previous torches, but this one works very, very well. And I'm very happy to have this one. Um, these little boxes right here are great for storing some of your smaller stuff to keep it all combined. These things are like five bucks at Walmart. You, I mean, you can't really beat that. So there you have it. I mean, it's just like pouring on a budget. It's so easy, and this, this kind of painting is so addictive that everybody wants to do it. I get these little, little guys right here. Some of them are metallic. Uh, some of them are fluorescent, color shifting. Um, and these are, these are great because I get these at like Walmart uh, on their, it's all acrylic. It's acrylic paint, uh, gloss finish. And I pick these up for like a dollar a piece. If I want a different color, I can use one of my regular colors like this and add more green add a little more blue whatever I want to do to create a different color or different color effect to my original paint before I pour it and those are very cheap you can get those at Meyer, at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels any of that stuff you can find those little jars for like a dollar they're very good so those cups I love using those cups when I'm mixing my paint because I can see how much is in there. I can see when I'm stirring it if there's any residual paint on the side of their cups like this. You can really work it and get everything mixed properly. That's why I love using these clear plastic cups. And I don't want to use ones that, you know, like the red solo cups or anything like that. Sure, it's the same exact thing, but I can't really see inside of it. With this, I can see through the top, I can see through the bottom, I can see from the sides, and I can really get a good mix. So, there you have it. This is acrylic pouring on a budget. Good luck out there and paint on. Thank you.